Hey everybody, I'm Matt Hill. I'm at the Doug Conference in Oklahoma City 2022 at the Oklahoma City Convention Center. And uh, man, I'm blessed to introduce my friends and tell them a little bit about themselves and uh, their amazing equipment. Uh, Charles, introduce yourself. Yep, Charles Bourgeois oh, with Dark Vision. Dark Vision. Charles, how did you get in oil and gas? How have you, how have you been uh, gracing our presence? <laughs> uh, I started back in 2013 with Baker, Gulf of Mexico, Wireline, and did that for a number of years, did some pipeline stuff, and then uh, came over here in 2020 to Dark Vision and kind of starting up their U.S. sales organization. You're a veteran now. Uh, you've seen a lot of changes. You've uh, got to experience a couple up and down. So uh, what are you excited about right now? What are you seeing? I'm excited that we're just kind of pushing the bounds of technology and getting more people in interested and, in, you know, really understanding what's going on from a, you know, integrity standpoint, from a you know, production standpoint, efficiency standpoint, getting better at it. Yeah, our, I mean, our, all of our goals is drill better wells, make them, uh, you know, last a lot longer. Yep. So with your technology, uh, Dark Vision, uh, what is this tool behind us? Yep, so this is the Hades uh, radial or Hades R. Um, and so we're, we're looking at an ultra high resolution acoustic imaging tool for, for downhole for downhole imaging. So originally started off as a well integrity tool, which is still what we do with it quite a bit. We also do completions optimization and uh, a number of other things. Um, what uh, what when are they putting this in the well? Like right after the frack? And from from the minute they spud the well to the day the well dies, we can run in there. So it's uh, not not any one time. We do a lot of post frack analysis. Um, we also do a lot of, you know, during drilling or during during frack, you've got casing deformation or, or well integrity issues, you got to go figure out what's going on. Or if they're going to p and well, we can go in and, and figure out, you know, what's the next steps, what's there, what's not there, all that kind of stuff. Where to start. Yeah, I mean, man, we all know the p and process is going to get a little bit more intense over the next few years now that we have the drive to go out and make sure the wells aren't, you know, active any longer. I saw something earlier, uh, we were talking about it with a friend of ours, Mark Mingers from Trailhead. Uh, man, you guys are able to go in and just check out, like service companies can now hire you too. Like, hey, we want to make sure we're operators, but we want to see how all of these different frack plugs, uh, you know, work against each other or with each other. Yeah, sorry to make a little plug, but we released a paper last year at ICOTA, um, specifically chronicling plug damage and, and the effects that it has down hole. And, and it's really interesting when you see some plugs fail, some, some plugs succeed. Um, and kind of why they fail. And, and we can look at you know the individual slip marks and understand, all right, this is failing at this point of the plug, and maybe this is why. You know, is there bypass going on? Is there something else? Um, but yeah, helping operators, again, get that efficiency up, get a better well, get better production. I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm, we're at $100 a barrel. We've got more oil producing now than we did in 2013 with half the number of rigs. Maybe not half. I don't know the exact number. but Yeah, spend the money on tools like this to, you know, go down hole, image the entire well bore, make sure that uh, you're going to have a, you know, your well stay online for a lot longer period of time. Yeah, that and just that you're, you know, you're treating the full zone, the full well bore equally, right? You don't want to overstimulate one zone and rob it from another another well. You also don't want to understimulate and leave rock untreated. You don't really get a ch second chance to go back. I mean, you can, but it's, it's costly and, and not ideal. Yeah, it's better to spend the money on technology like this up front. And all the data points, uh, what are some of the things you guys are working on with this uh, you hope to uh, start using for operators in the future? Ooh. You want to, uh, I mean, obviously you can uh, check out corrosion or, you know, where the, uh, you know, where they hit it with the, the frack. I mean, what's the, what's the best way to go about it? Yeah, so I'll tell you kind of what we're, what we're seeing. So as I said, we do a lot of completions optimization. That's kind of been our, our mainstay for a little while now. Um, what we're seeing is we're starting to branch out more into the well integrity, more into the P&A market, going after, I mean, as you said, P&A is becoming a hot button topic. You've got a lot of wells, you know, California and Texas and Oklahoma and New Mexico that you have to get, you know, figured out and, and, and dead, like truly, truly dead. Um, and getting, getting something in there to understand what's going on and, you know, getting getting corrosion and understanding what, what that is or deformation or, you know, faulting frack hits. You've got to figure that out. So that's where we're we're seeing kind of the next step. Man, I love technology like this. I like I like actually being able to get. I mean, nowadays we can go in and just see very accurate, high resolution data from these well bores. I mean, that's incredible. Well, how do people get a hold of you? Uh, you're on uh, LinkedIn, obviously, and other social platforms. What's your website? 
Yep, darkvisiontech.com. Um, we also yeah, have you know, e sales at dark, uh, yeah, email sales at darkvisiontech.com or info at darkvisiontech.com. And what's your email address? Uh, yeah, charles.bourgeois at darkvisiontech.com. Charles Bourgeois. I mean, I'm glad you said it. I couldn't spell that. If I, I need to go to Louisiana more often, I think. <laughs> I, I appreciate you all very much for being here and let me uh, interview you real quick. That's what I do, everybody. Make sure you guys reach out to Dark Vision and uh, use this technology, man. That's amazing. Reach out to Charles and uh, thank him. Appreciate you. Take care. God bless. Yep, thanks, Bye.